Hey, how's it going guys? Markel here back with another unboxing for you guys and today I have the Google Pixel 5a 5G. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So the first thing we greeted with is the phone. They called it just black but it does have a tint of green to it. You can definitely see that. Set that to the side. Next, we're greeted with here some paperwork that I'm never going to read in a SIM tool. Uh, wow, we actually get a charger in the box. And I believe this is a 18 or 20 watt charger. And then we get transfer tool right here, micro USB. I'm sorry, uh, USB to USB type C plus the cable here that's nice Let's put that back don't need any of that stuff all right set this to the side right, go ahead and take this plastic off here get this set up and I'll be right back all right guys got the phone all set up there are some downloads happening uh, some security updates and I believe it's gonna upload to Android 12 but let me run through some of the specs on this device real quick, which is, this has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G. It's six gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage that is not expandable, okay? Uh, it has a 6.34 uh, OLED display. The rear cameras here on the back, for your main shooter here, you have a 12 megapixel and for the ultra wide you get a 16 megapixel and the front facing camera here you get an 8 megapixel camera now the battery size is probably the largest size pixel has ever put in a phone which is 4680 milliamp hours the charger i didn't know if it was 18 or 20 but it is an 18 watt charger so you're looking at about an hour and a half to close to two hours to get this thing charged from zero to 100 uh, what else we got here? It is it does have an uh, an IP rating for water resistance. So this has an IP rating of 67. Uh, your flag phones, flagship phones like the iPhone S21 Ultra, they have an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance. Uh, we have Gorilla Glass 3 here in the front. We also get a headphone jack here. They did keep the headphone jack on this one, as well as on the bottom. You have stereo speakers here with type C. You have your power button here, has a little different color to it. Here on the right side along the volume rockers. And on the left side here, we just have the SIM tray here for your SIM card. And you do get one microphone here at the top. On the back, you do get a fingerprint reader here. Uh, and I've already set that up as well. And it's pretty fairly quick. You know, the hard wire is always gonna be faster then, um, oh wow, it's asking me for the pen. You try that again. It shouldn't ask me for the pen. Okay. Huh. That was weird. Asked me for the pen. But okay. We got that squared away. But yeah, man, this is basically the same phone they put out last year with a couple of upgrades. Uh, the last the one they put out last year was 6.2, which is the Pixel 4a. This is 6.34. The battery was around 36 or 3800 milliamps. This one's 4680. And they added the water and dust resistant with the IP67. So it is splash resistant. I wouldn't go dunking this in water <laughs> for sure. Now, when it comes to the 5G, I have to understand 5G is going to work on sub six, which is your lower uh, millimeter bands. It's not going to work on your higher bands, uh, millimeter waves. It won't work on that. Now I got this through Google Fi and Google Fi is only selling this in the US and in Japan. And if you want one, there's only two places you can get it in the States. It's either through Google Fi or through the Google store. That's it. Can't go to any other AT&T, Sprint or any of those other guys. They're not going to have it. That's the only place you can get this. Okay. So this is a pretty basic device, pretty boring looking, not going to lie. And the reason why I have it is because I'm on Google's two-year subscription plan. So every two years, 
I get a new device. So last, what, two years ago, I had the 3A. Now I was in, row, in line to get the 5A. I won't get the 6A if it comes out. I would get the 7A two years from now. So every two years, I get a new device through Google Fi, and I pay um, eight bucks a month for the subscription plan. Now you can cancel anytime and just pay the device straight out or pay eight bucks a month for two years which is well less than what the phone costs and then you keep the phone after two years and then they send you another one That's so this great. phone's price is four hundred and forty nine dollars and to say after two years I don't want to get another one I just cancel I wouldn't get the new one so that's basically how that works guys with Google Fi but it's called mostly black and it does have a hint of green as you can see uh, it's not a fingerprint magnet but I got my hands are kind of greasy so you can see it all that on the back of the phone but the cameras are the main reason why people get pixel phones uh, these cameras are the best cameras that you can get or some of the best cameras you can get out there so the new pixel 6 and the pixel 6 pro should be coming out very soon i'm debating on whether or not i will be getting one uh more than likely yeah but <laughs> this is just another device that i have that i'm going to test and play with do some photos do some videos there's already a bunch of videos out this phone has been out over a month that's how long it took me to just to get it here in colombia any okay. other questions you all have about this device please leave comments below but yeah this is the pixel 5a 5g i appreciate everybody watching as always until the next time i'm out peace